guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a no makeup makeup look um, I'm doing this because I'm going to get my hair cut that's why it looks all wonky like this because every time I get my hair cut when they wash my hair all the makeup always goes away here so usually I wait to do my makeup till after but I have to go to work right after so I'm going to do my no makeup one just so I don't have to deal with the whole makeup situation going everywhere so yeah, if you want to know how I get the look you would have saw in the thumbnail, then keep watching this video. Okay. So, to start, I'm going to take, if I can find it, my Maybelline concealer. It's the Fit Me Concealer, and it's in shade 10, which is the light one. I can't really show you the name of it because it's like half gone, but I'm just going to look in my little mirror here. And all I do is because I get really red cheeks and then like right down here it gets kind of like reddish and weird. So I'm just going to put like a little, little bit on my cheek area and then just a little bit down there and do that on both sides. And with a little sponge, I'm gonna blend it up. This just cancels out any of the redness I have in my face without adding like coverage like crazy. It just like makes it more like one tone, which is all I want. If I find like a, if like I don't have enough like coverage in the red stuff, I'll just go over it a little bit more. I'm adding a little bit of a lighter one, just on the bottom. There. Uh oh. Wow. This side is just. There. I turned my light. And I don't put anything on my forehead because I find it's pretty normal colored. So. All good on that part. But I am going to take the Fit Me in the darker shade, which I think is called Cafe. Yeah, it's number 30. And I'm just going to do a little bit of some cream contour. My light just started like sinking down slowly. And since I'm putting this all the way to my hairline, I will take all my like sponge and stuff when I go to my haircut just so if it does come off my hairline area, I can fix it a little bit. There, that's what I'm using for cream products. I don't know where the video just cut off there. Um, but I'm going to use the butter bronzer that smells amazing. And I'm just going to just lightly go over my cheek. I have fake tan on, so I just want to add a little bit of warmth to my face. Sorry, this side keeps going really white on the screen. I don't have the best setup for makeup just because I have my phone and a couple lights. There. Okay. That is pretty much the face and I'm just gonna do like blush and stuff after. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and they're, oh, they're not gonna be like how my video was. Um, I'm just gonna skip over this part. Maybe I'll make like a more natural brow tutorial thing like another day because the other one I just posted is like 
like what I would do, like doing full glam kind of stuff. But I will be right back once the brows are done. Okay, brows are done. See, they're like a lot lighter and more like natural looking, but like I just filled in a little bit of sparseness. Yes. And I'm going back with my Fit Me and just putting that on my eyelid because I, I don't know if you can actually see, but I got some seriously veiny eyelids. Just blend that in. Okay, and then with my little shade and light palette, I'm literally just going to take the middle shade. Actually, you know what? Better idea. With the shade and light palette, I'm using the middle yellow shade just to set over that concealer. But I'm just going to use the bronzer that I used on my face, just in my crease, just so I have a little bit of like a definition in the crease, but nothing like too hectic and bold because you know natural no makeup makeup look can't look like you wear makeup pretty obvious and then with the bronzer any nice fluffy blending brush it's a lot of fallout i'm just gonna put that in the crease Woo, done that. What is this hair doing? Okay, so, since I want it to be natural, I'm gonna use my little Tarte blush. It's in the, I think it's in the shade Parte. I don't really know, it's got three A's in the word party. So, using a little Morphe angled brush, just add a little bit of color. Oh wow. And usually when I do the no makeup makeup looks, I don't want to use my Jaclyn Hill uh, highlighter just because it is more like blinding and you really can tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Morphe fan brush and the Wet n Wild highlighter in Precious Petals because if you don't pick up a lot, it comes off more subtle, which is like what I want right now. But I still want a little bit of glow because, you know, I don't want to look dull. Just like that. On the nose. I just said I was going to put a little on my nose and holy Jesus. That's a lot. Perfect. Okay, so that is my finished face, and I'm going to spray it with some spe some setting spray, some setting spray. Okay. And then I am gonna add mascara just so it doesn't look like I have no eyelashes. <laughs> but I'm just gonna use my what is it Maybelline. It's the last sensation sensational curvitude, but it's the waterproof one because I can't wear it on mascara anymore because it always runs like stripes onto my eyelids, but waterproof actually stays. So this is what I use. And I'm just gonna put like a little coat because I don't want them to look crazy. I just made that eyelashes, oh, that eyelashes, those eyelashes clumpy. Okay, those are my eyelashes. I'm just gonna wipe off whatever is on my lips. And I'm not doing anything to my lips, I'm just gonna put chapstick on because no makeup. But yeah, this is how I do my little no makeup makeup look for when I want to go to work, not looking like a zombie, but I don't want to actually take the time to do my makeup. This is what happens. I am going to wear my glasses too because <laughs> why not? So, and 
this is my look and I'm really glad I'm getting my hair done today because it's <laughs> also a little gross. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment video suggestions below or anything, just if you want to chat. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another video with me. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.